here with Pleasure Craft. He just came off the main stage at Veld Music Festival. I just got to drive him across the festival in this golf cart. Not, I wish though. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be at Veld? Awesome, awesome. Uh, first time and um, yeah, it was really proper crowd, proper vibe and uh, a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you love Toronto? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of second home for me because I have some family here and spent some time here, so love Toronto. I know we all love Toronto. So you're traveling all over the place. I know you're close to, uh, you've been touring and now you're kind of close to the end of your tour. What's been going on with your tours? There is no end to the tour. <laughs> no, I just mean it's like, you know, tradi like, you know, rock bands, whatever, you know, put out an album and then tour, but with, with this kind of music, it's just kind of, if you're lucky enough, um, you just when you stop DJing, that and when you stop putting out records, that's when you stop touring. So, luckily, uh, there's no um, no end in sight, which is a good thing. Cool. So, what's new? Are you do you have any new new productions coming out? Any new remixes? Any new tracks? Yeah, a um, couple new originals coming out for the rest of the year, and then um, we're mainly just focusing on our first album that we're working on, which isn't going to be anything like. Uh, tech house stuff um, we'll get back to that after but it's not club records it's like uh, something deeper yeah not 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 deep like deep house but it's just um, just music that we want to make that it has no confining restrictions as far as genres or anything like that so, cool. so when will that be released when can we be looking for that? 2014 that's soon guys all right so we're kind of kind of soon so what's coming up next in your tours where are you gonna be going um, I'm sh actually leaving tomorrow for uh, Monday Night Social in LA and then back over to Europe, um, festival in Amsterdam and then to Ibiza for uh, several shows. So. That's really cool. Alright, so out of everywhere that you've, you've obviously toured the world, where would you where would you say is the most craziest, wildest fan or you, fans where you just had the most epic time spinning? Well, I love you Toronto. But Mexico City would take that cake. Yeah, why? <laughs> yeah. What went on over there? <laughs> They're just on another level as far as their um, consumption of electronic music and how passionate and how visceral the energy that you get back from them is. It's just unlike anywhere else that I've experienced. So, That's cool. so what about for you personally? Do you where do you love to party? Um, or even if you're not partying, where do you love to go in the world? Uh, I mean, uh, probably far from anywhere that has a club, like a you know remote island in, in Greece or something would be my ideal location for just hanging out. So yeah, you look like that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing this, but when it's like what you do like on a daily basis, like when you have free time, it's a lot, you know one of the last things you want to do. So yeah. So rumors going around on Twitter that you got you started spinning because you got turntables for Christmas. Is this true? Uh, well, considering I don't celebrate Christmas, that'd be really awesome. <laughs> Twitter guys, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, I actually, uh, about just over 10 years ago, um, was working in a restaurant and uh, a co-worker of mine had a couple um, techniques and huge vinyl collection. I was like, what is this stuff? And you know, he kind of showed me on a DJ. and. Uh, Got the bug, and then we drive every weekend to 611 Records in Philly, Josh Wink's old uh, vinyl shop, and um, back when it was still around. And uh, just you know, spent way too much money on vinyl, and and um, yeah, that's kind of kind of got into it from the DJing end, and then kind of got into production around 2006. Um, so yeah, yeah. Okay, question: Are you still using vinyls now, or did you switch over to CDs? Um, it's just not practical for me for like how the travel aspect of it yeah. um, to travel transcontinental travel with you know hundred hundred to two hundred vinyls I mean it's just, just forget it um, you have to check stuff you have to you know it's so, it's so friggin heavy and it's ten to thirteen dollars for you know vinyl it's two dollars for an mp3 or a wave file so you know, yeah, I mean, there's something romantic and sentimental about vinyl, and, you know, that's where I learn, and it's close to my heart, but it's just not a very practical medium for, yeah, for an international traveling DJ. Alright, so why don't you tell me 
What inspires you? What inspires you when you go on stage? Who inspires you to make your music? Um, usually non-electronic music. <laughs> um, we kind of like try to try to take stuff that that we really like from other types of music and then kind of work that in. Um, like somebody was sent, uh, somebody um, mentioned something. Uh, yeah, there you go, Danny Tanaglia. Yeah, there's there's one guy, yeah. Um, but just uh, <clears throat> I don't know, like so, some people that are on our short list of people to work with um, that are non-electronic musicians, like Maynard James Keenan, who's the lead singer from Tool, Perfect Circle, Pussifer, uh, Chino Moreno of the Deftones, um, guys from Empire of the Sun. All of that is kind of electronic. Um, yeah, you know. People like that, so um, New Empire the Sun Records, brilliant by the way. <laughs> Hope that helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So now I'm going to ask you just a quick couple questions. Favorite brand, clothing brand? Clothing brand? Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. You have sent 10 seconds to answer every question. I've, I've kind of gotten in the habit of wearing these really comfortable American apparel shirts every time I spin, so just uh, I'll go with that okay. for now. Favorite car? I don't really care about cars, so I can't even answer that. Zero. Favorite color? Purple. Tits or ass? Ass. <laughs> Favorite Love the City host? Favorite what? Love the City host. You, obviously. <laughs> I feel so privileged. Thank you. All right, so why don't you tell our viewers your social media where they can catch some tracks, some remixes, follow you. Yeah, sure. Um, Pleasurecraft.com basically has all the links to everything. And then uh, Twitter.com slash Pleasurecraft. That's with a K, obviously, if they don't know. With the bottom of the screen, <laughs> yeah. get it right. And um, yeah, SoundCloud. All the links are on the Pleasurecraft.com page, so you can find us from there. Perfect. Thank you. You guys yeah. were, or you are awesome today. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank and you. we'll catch you guys later.